The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Infrastructure Develop and modernize the national infrastructure to improve the quality of life for all citizens. West Abdullah Limbarak project is located 18 kilometers from Jahra and Kuwait City. West Abdullah Limbarak project area is 902 hectares. The number of targeted units in the project is 5,201 units and the unit space is 400 square meters. The project consists of 26 schools, 24 masjids, 2 governmental complexes, 10 shops, 2 gas branches, 3 central markets, 2 fire extinguishing centers, 2 health cares and 3 police stations. Electric current of the project will gradually enter service starting from the first quarter of 2019. The Public Authority for Housing Welfare received the total project vouchers in the same city with a total of 5,201. The main power transformers contract is currently under implementation with 16 million and 150,000 Kuwaiti dinars in addition to another contract covering six stations worth 18 million Kuwaiti dinars. The Public Authority for Housing Welfare is in the process of determining the schedule of the project of the completion of public buildings of suburb and the project of the city of West Abdullah Limbarak, where the tender was awarded to the Kuwaiti company Al Hamra with a contractual value of 28 million and 466,000 Kuwaiti dinars. The Public Authority for Housing Welfare is currently working on the establishment and completion of 99 government buildings in the west of Abdullah Limbarak after the completion of the signing of all contracts for the public buildings and entry into the implementation phase through four contracts with a period of implementation with up to 30 months. Work on the project was started on the 25th of November 2015 during a period of up to 730 days and ended on the 23rd of November 2017. The annual plan 2017-2018 is scheduled to continue 164 projects that will contribute more than 50 billion in revenue. Now we will take you on a social media tour regarding West Abdullah Limbarak project. From Gharb Abdullah Limbarak account, power stations with permission will be ready to deliver the power supply in the summer of 2019. Photos of some of the various parts of the building are under construction during a fold. And in the end, from new Kuwait government, future starts with you. The Knowledge Retention Workshop took place in Kuwait to improve the performance of human resources managers in both government and private sectors. Today we've had a very interesting workshop delivered by Professor Artikan and the workshop is titled Knowledge Retention. Uh, Professor Artikan, over the period of two days, he's talked to us about the science of knowledge retention, how knowledge is retained, and also he's talked to us about uh, some practical implementation, how knowledge retention science has been implemented through boosters, through different techniques, so people who are investing so much money into training can really reap the benefits from that investment. Because what's happening today is that organizations are investing millions and millions of KDs, and the returns are almost very dismal and so today we were very delighted and personally I participated with the Professor Artikan because he had so many interesting uh, points that he's raised and I had the pleasure to also co collaborate with him to uh, highlight certain points. I, really, I think the main point is that we science is developing a real understanding of how the brain works mm -hmm. and 
these kinds of research and insights have helped us develop techniques that make teaching more effective, both for our children and for adults. And if we use the lessons of science, we can significantly improve our educational processes. What's People forget a lot. Mm -hmm. The fundamental point is, unfortunately, people forget. Well, what can we do about that? Forgetting, it turns out, according to science, is a very natural phenomenon. Our brain is always in the process of suppressing and causing us to forget things. But we know how the brain does that. And based on our knowledge, we can create ways to help people after they learn a new piece of information. Mm. We know how to interact with people to prevent that forgetting from taking place. The workshop aims to increase the percentage of knowledge acquirement using a methodology that Professor Cohen developed, including a program that boosts the outcomes of training programs that will enhance the learning experience in efforts to produce a more productive workforce in Kuwait.